Hey y'all, it's me, your favorite tall black actress, Christine Horn, and I am bringing you another wonderful interview for our Actress Spotlight. Today we are featuring Nikita Kalam. She's a wonderfully talented actress based in Los Angeles, California. I had the pleasure of performing with her um, in the Women of Brewster Place. She's a, she was a swing, and she got to go on quite a bit for several different roles. And um, as you may know from checking the blog recently, Journey of a Tall Black Actress dot com. Um, I've added a link on there to focus on some actresses who are not just tall like me. I have so much to learn from actresses, uh, period, and I just love hearing their stories and their their rise to the place that they are today. So um, check the blog out if you haven't been there in a while, and um, enjoy this interview with Nikita. Hey, how you doing? Hi, my name is Nikita Kalam, and this is my life as an actor. What's up, Nikita? I see What's you. Up? We're here in your dressing room. What are you getting ready to do? Well, I'm a swing in Women of Brewster Place with the lovely, talented you. <laughs> and I'm going on tonight as Kiswana Brown. Yes. Um, so I'm putting on my little 70s makeup. Okay, we're here in... Put on my little afro. <laughs> We are here in Los Angeles, California at the Celebration Theater mm -hmm. and uh, Nikita is about to go on. She's a swing. Nikita, so how did you get started acting? Um, actually, I started dancing when I was really little, um, like elementary school. And then my god sister and my godfather are both in the business. Okay. And so uh, my god sister referred me to her agent, which at the time was Gold Marshak. Okay. Then it was like Harry Gold, now they're like Talent Works or something. Okay. Um, so I went in for an audition and they liked me right away. So I, they, I started getting out right away with them and did some commercials back in the day with them. Uh, did um, CB4 as Chris Rock's little sister. Oh gosh, I remember that movie. So that was my first feature. And then I eventually booked Lion King as the voice of young Nala. And wow. Lion King. So that was my biggest thing that I booked with when I was with Gold Marshak. Were they a voiceover agency? Or what, no, they was... were all service. They were okay. full service agency. How so, did how was that? I know at the how old were you when you booked that? I was twelve years old when I booked it and I was fourteen when it came out. Did you have any idea how huge that movie no would be? No idea. I thought it was gonna be like rescuers down under, <laughs> some like straight to video right. thing. And then I started noticing something when I went to the set, Buena Vista, and I was like, yeah, I'm here for Lion King. They're like, oh, park here, park here. And I'm like, why are they tripping? And then James Earl Jones was like leaving his session when I was coming, wow. but I had to be on time, so I couldn't stop and say anything. Then at the premiere, I was like, oh, this is really? <laughs> like, this is pretty big. Totally. So, yeah, it was a pleasant surprise. I'm sure it was. What would you say is, has been your most challenging situation as an actress or trying to get work or being in between jobs or any anything you want to share as to upcoming actors to act inspire other actors like what was, um, what can you say is it what's been the hardest part like be, I don't know everybody's so different um, well you know financially it's always up and down up and down roller coaster mm -hmm. so in the down moments it's challenging finding those uh, side jobs but then you don't want to do something full time to take all your energy away from what it is that you're trying to accomplish. Right. So I think that that would be the most challenging. Um, but as long as you stay creative with what it is, a lot of people, especially like New York and LA, a lot of employers support act like let me leave for audition. Right. Yeah. Have you found work in as like a, a waitress like most most people or? No, I usually I usually teach because I, I got my master's in fine arts at the Actor Studio Drum School woo -woo, in, in New York. Um, so I usually teach um, either musical theater or drama. Okay. Yeah. Very and after school programs. Okay. Because then you have the whole morning and you have the whole evening free. Sweet. Well, that's cool. You kind of get to inspire kids along the way. Mm -hmm. Very cool. What advice would you give um, brand people who are just dreaming of acting and, and think it's just always glamour and glitz and they just see, you know, Halle Berry or people and you not think about all the... My first bit of advice would be make rejection your friend. Oh. It is not your enemy. 
There are so many things that go into casting. I once got cast for something. In fact, see before, I auditioned for another little role. I got the role that I got, which they wrote in because I look so much like the mom who they cast. So wow. make rejection your friend would be my first. Go in, make a strong choice, and have fun. They don't want you to fail. They want you to succeed. They don't want to sit there all day watching people be nervous and all up into themselves. They right. just want you to have fun. And then three, I'd say do something towards your career every day. Even if it's reading backstage or reading an article on your favorite actor or you know, watching a movie of your favorite actor, taking a class. Just something that's stimulating your craft every day. Okay. And have a life. Have don't a life. live, breathe, eat, acting. Have other hobbies, have other things. So you don't obsess and yeah. drive yourself crazy. Well, mm -hmm. thank you so much, Nikita. Do you have a website or anything you want yes, people to check you, you out? Yes, you can go to http colon backslash backslash nikitakalam.weebly.com. Cool, and I'll put that in the, uh, it'll be on screen too. Okay. Thank you so much. Have a great show. Break a leg. Peace. Bye.